Hello everyone, my name is Amar Junaid and today we will talk about baking. The secret ingredient to great looking art in real time rendering. Everybody hates it but everybody absolutely needs to do it. The reason is that artists get carried away and before they know it they will have a model like this house slipper here which is about 7.2 million faces and you can see how dense the mesh is right here. And then it's really unusable for any kind of production systems, be it games or films. Sure, it looks really nice. It has all the great detail that you want, but it's really not uh, feasible to texture it or animate it. But with baking, you can get all this great detail on a mesh with a much sensible poly count and a good topology as well. So I can prepare a low poly mesh with only about 8000 faces and then bake the detail into a normal map from the high poly mesh and then if I see the results and turn off the wireframe you can see that it uh, can show off the details really nicely. I can also quickly show the result of the complete texturing process. So you can have great details by using baked textures and still uh, have a good topology. So let's start. I have prepared a very simple scene. I'm using Blender 2.82. Uh, this high poly mesh has about uh, 20,000 faces and the low poly version has just about a thousand faces. I have already unwrapped it and both the low poly objects share the same UV space. I did this because I want to use both of these meshes as a single object uh, further down the pipeline. The built-in baking in Blender is overly complicated and let me just quickly show you. So what you do is that you select your high poly and you select your low poly uh, as well and then go to in your render settings you go to bake and then you select what kind of bake do you want for so for details we want to bake the normals so you select normal and then you want to create a new image in the let's go to the shader editor and then create a material which we won't use but we have to do it in this case and then add a texture and then add a new texture Uh, let's create a normal test okay and you have to select this image so the baking system will know which image to write the bake texture to so the basic setup has a lot of uh, unnecessary steps involved in it and if you have a scene with a lot of uh, different objects you will have to bake for them individually and then it can get uh, really tedious to do it so I will show you how to bake using this free add-on called Bake Wrangler and it uh, makes the whole baking process really easy and intuitive. The link for it I will leave in the description below and if you end up liking it uh, please consider supporting the developer as well. After installation you will see that it adds a new editor in Blender which is called the Bake Node Editor. It works with a node based interface which is very fast and intuitive to set up. So let's click new and it will add a basic bake recipe. In the mesh node you can specify your input. So target is the low poly object that you want to bake to. Source is the high poly object, uh, the object which you want to bake from and scene is used to add other non-mesh objects like lights etc to add more detail to your bakes like uh, shadows or lighting effects. Margin can be used to extend the boundaries of your bake texture and you can use it if you are getting tiling artifacts and padding can use to extend the boundaries of your UV islands and you will use it if you are getting edge uh, artifacts and the details are not uh, right on the edges of your UV islands. 
you can use this multi res option if your high poly uses a multi res modifier and ray distances that how far the rays will generate uh, outside the low poly mesh so for example if the high poly mesh is poking out of your low poly like in this case these rays will help you capture that detail as well uh, this is very important especially for normal baking so let's select our low poly here and the high poly mesh here and then this is plugged into your big pass node select your bake type here and this uh, baking space you shouldn't change in most cases unless you really know uh, if you want to bake into a different space you can select which device to use for baking how many samples to use so for normal it's okay to use only one sample but for other bake types uh, you might be better off with more samples so I have also written in the description a little bit about how to use these samples for other bake types like AO or cavity I will use GPU for this and for the resolution let's leave it at 1024 for now this goes into your output image path node and here you can give it an image path so let's do it uh, let's just accept the same path and let's name it normal you can select a format and you can also change the final resolution of your image so for normals for example it's a good idea to bake in a higher resolution and then resize the image so that the down sampling will reduce some of the aliasing artifacts you can also change your color space so for normals uh, we will use non-color and if you want a colored image RGB or black and white but for normal it's color depth and the compression so with these different channels you can configure your bake even further so just for an example let's copy this node and if we want to bake roughness and we are using it in a game engine or a game environment where we want to save our uh, texture memory then we can bake our roughness value in the alpha uh, with the normal so this will be one image that will contain your normal as well as your roughness detail and this can be used by using one bake operation so let's delete it for now and also change the resolution to match the bake pass resolution and then let's test the bake so once you hit bake the the only way to see the progress for now is go to window and toggle system console and then it will show you uh, where the baking process is at and once it's done so let's view the image let's open an image editor and let's open the image and it already looks really nice there might be some art artifacts in this area but let's uh, apply it and see the result go to shading let's uh, turn off the high poly for now and let's create a new image select the baked add a normal map and connect it and you need to set it to non-color data and it looks nice but here you can see that the bake was not so good so let's uh, change it a little bit so let's increase the ray distance and maybe also uh, increase the resolution to 4k and then we will down sample it to 2k and let's start to bake so this time it took a little while but let's reload the image and the artifacts are gone so let's go to shading and 
it's uh, so that's how it looks now and with the low poly mesh and with the baked normals you can get back uh, some of the detail so keep in mind that the normals don't add anything to the mesh so that's why they seem a little bit flat and depending on uh, where do you want to use this asset in your game or your film uh, you might want to add more detail to it if it's uh, more in the foreground of your scene or if it's a background object then it's maybe okay to use it uh, in a real low detail if you want to add more uh, mesh objects to your uh, bake recipe then you can do it like this that add a new objects node and select your high poly objects and in a new objects node select your low poly objects and then connect it to your mesh node but it might create some more artifacts because as you can see that both of these objects are so close together that some of the details from this bigger object might get uh, wrongly projected to the smaller objects and this is a fairly common problem with baking so to group objects properly for baking let's uh, duplicate the mesh node remove these and so this first mesh node is baking for the tire object and we can select the other object here and then we can connect it to the big pass and this will ensure that this group does not uh, affect the baking for this group and now we can test it so you can see that this time it baked two uh, mesh passes and to see the result let's reload the image and now it has also added the detail let's go see the result and we will add the same material for the other object as well and it looks okay to do a batch bake for all of your different uh, bake passes uh, you can add a batch bake node and connect it here and then you can copy the complete bake change the bake type here uh, let's change it to for example roughness and then connect it here and once you hit bake here it will create all of the baking textures in one uh, operation so i have color ids stored in my high poly mesh which i want to bake uh, which will help me it in texturing so let's uh, prepare a bake for it first i will create a material with these colors add a new material add a vertex color node select color and this step is very important otherwise you won't get the color data from the vertices and just control shift click it to get it in the emissions viewer save select the same material for the other object and here you have it you can also do it by connecting the color to the base color and baking an albedo pass uh, but i will use an emit pass for this uh, because it's just easier so let's go back copy the bake and connect the meshes change the bake type to emit also change the name to color id space to srgb connect it to the batch and we can uh, bake all our uh, baked images uh, by this one click 
so it's complete now let's open the other image and there you have it so all in all this is a very powerful add-on which can simplify the baking process a lot even for very complex scenes and objects and it's completely free for now that is it still has some bugs and it might sometimes fail to bake uh, for example I noticed that if I have the edit mode enabled and then I try to bake it will fail and but all in all it works really great for the most part it recently got updated with interesting new bake passes like uh, curvature and cavity which uh, help a lot in uh, adding really nice details in texturing the cavity pass is a bit slow but the result is uh, worth it in my opinion so that's it for this video uh, if you have any comments or questions please write them in the comment section below i have provided all the important links in the description and i will also provide this file uh, to play around with uh, until next time goodbye